Solberg's like the the guy who was meant to be a surfer and ended up like freezing his ass out in the winter and this is <laughs> fucking epic dude. Can't believe I got like five shots on my first day. Five shots closer to being in Hawaii editing. JP has a great attitude, man. I would just say that JP, like, there's a part of him where the boy band just never died. It's in him. He was meant to be in a boy band, either on a snowboard team or a musical group. Hey, JP Solberg is the funniest man in snowboarding. He is just, he is constantly, he's just good vibes everywhere he goes. He's just always in a good mood, always smiling, having a great time on and off the hill. JP's personality, you gotta meet him, man. His personality is way too, too big to fit in one profile. <laughs> gotta do a TV show about that guy. <laughs> JP is always a good time. Great travel companion. Just takes life lightly and in a fun way. 20 minus, 40 degrees, hot spring. Uh, maybe a vodka and some stuff later. JP is, uh, JP is an entertainer. It's super funny. You guys better have your seatbelts on because this is going to be a bumper ride, I'm telling you. <laughs> JP is like the funniest dude. He's, he's just like a little ball of energy and he's always excited and happy and just like out to have a good time no matter what's going on. Speak to me, Kamchaka. Speak to me. I think JP likes to have his truck and his sled really clean. Clean cut guy with his little perfume. Maybe he combs his hair a little. The whole car landed on the dark jeans. Let's do this. His personality is like his riding. He's mellow. Really happy, happy boys. Always bring the good energy up when we're going filming or traveling. He loves life, he loves food, so that's JP's personality. He has an amazing style. He, I think he invented the, the no flap whatsoever. He just had the most straight upper body ever. He could just do the spins and um, just amazing style and he still continues to this day. JP has like the most relaxed, like easiest style. Just so big, blasting like switch backside spins so far and just effortlessly. Hempstead all kicker in particular. And those are man sized jumps. If JP's riding a jump, you might want to step down. I remember the first time I heard his name. It was uh, watching some transfers um, for Transcendence. And there's this JP Solberg just doing the biggest, loftiest, just smooth, like, spins. And I was like, wow, OK, JP Solberg. Solberg is another one of those dudes. It's the epitome of style. Like, the, yeah, he can do anything, and it looks good. The kind of style that you know you watch his part, and you want to, you want to emulate it a bit. You could tell he knew what he was getting himself into, and I think that he's one of like the real sparks in the beginning that you know started to really push, you know, backcountry freestyle riding, no doubt. I think it's the most stink buck out there still even in terms of Euro style. Don't see him tweak that much. He keeps it square, very stylish. To me, JP Solberg's riding style is badass. It's all stocky, legs sucked up super deep, and just stomps. Really smooth, compact, technical. He's the smoothest rider I've ever seen since Jamie Lynn. You know, he goes with the flows. He doesn't stress too much about it. And that's reflected his style of writing. Like, basically, it was the video part heard around the world. Uh, and I remember actually seeing him ride for the first time in Mount Hood, like, while he was filming with Absinthe. And, and then he was like riding around in a bunny suit and I didn't really understand what was going on because they were just kind of filming some lifestyles in this bunny suit and I'm like, JP, you know, like you kind of, you're in a bunny suit. I don't know if that's like, that's the best thing ever. He became the star of Transcendence in some ways. You know, he had the closing part in the bunny suit. He put on the bunny suit, which was originally intended for Roman, but Roman was injured. So there's little bunny Salberg 
gets in the bunny suit and we go up have an amazing session up there at uh, USSTC and uh, I think the rest is history. I remember going and seeing that uh, film premiere and you know I still remember this day. It actually gives me a little goosebumps. And then sure enough I see the part where I'm like damn it JP just went twice as big as I'm ever gonna go wearing a bunny suit and, and I was trying to call him out. Thank you.